everybody. Welcome back to PP Popo Podcast. I'm CC. I'm Tao. And today we have invited a very special guest here, which is also our beloved friend, Mr. Aaron. Ooh. Welcome. Okay. Welcome. Hello. Uh, yeah. My name is Aaron. Uh, I hope everyone is good yes. so far. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, uh, last last year pandemic, uh, we having a. Uh, uh, challenges yeah. Yeah, to go through. I yeah. mean, technically, we're still in the pandemic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, about me, um, <laughs> basically, I'm from, uh, I'm a Sarawakian. Oh, mm, welcome Sarawakian. to KL. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Sarawakian, but I'm born in uh, PJ actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, last time, my parents working in uh, KL. Oh. Uh, so, and then they're traveling a lot. Um, uh, like Guantan, mm. a few uh, out stations, uh, things like that. So, have you stayed in Sarawak before, or you straight away just um, live in Mali? I already stayed here for about 10 years already. Whoa, mm. 10, 10 years. years. Oh. So, before that, uh, of course, I stayed in Kuching. Mm. Yeah. So, so, you're born here, but then you're brought back there and raised there. Yeah. And then only you got back here. Correct. Then. Oh, Correct. okay, I see. What's, okay. What's the difference between Sarawak and here? <laughs> Yeah, totally. <laughs> I will say quite different. Uh, quite different. In terms of culture, mm. especially the language mm. we speaking yeah. with. Um, in Kuching, we speak mostly uh, Hokkien. Ooh. Oh, it's Sarawak. Yeah, okay. I mean, among Chinese, uh, mm. Hokkien and uh, Hakka. Uh, mm. Of course, Hakka there and here are totally different. a bit different. Mm. Uh, mm. Because Hakka also have many type of um, Hakka type. But okay. when you when you reach here, what kind of language do you speak more? Oh yeah, when <laughs> I first time when you first reach time here. I arrive here, yeah. uh, when I speak speaking with those uh, Chinese people, mm. uh, I have to speak in Mandarin. Yeah. Mm. I Are have a challenge to speak, speak with um, how to say Cantonese. Ah, Mostly yeah. they speak uh, yeah. in Cantonese here, mm. but. Uh, when they speak to me as a can, uh, Cantonese, mm -hmm. I speak with them with uh, Mandarin. Mandarin. But oh. some of them, they don't Understood. speak Mandarin. Yeah, yeah. 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 We have this, yeah. this is Malaysia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So how do so you So mostly, improve? I have to use English. Mm. Yeah, so mostly they can. Uh. Oh, that's, uh, that's good okay. about it. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, yeah. So, so through socializing, only you start to improve your Chinese, yeah. your Mandarin, and yeah. then English, and then become Satu Malaysia already. <laughs> yeah, of course, Malay, no problem. Yeah, Malay, mm. no problem. Uh, of course, uh, Tamil, I cannot. La. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this one, we yeah. also cannot. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so, my childhood is uh, from Kuching, la, mostly. La. Mostly from Yeah, okay. so if you say like culture, of course, it's totally different mm. in terms of languages. Mm. Uh, of course, uh, uh, socializing and interaction, of course. Uh, also different. Uh, yeah, got slightly different. Mm. Got mm. slightly different. Okay. Yeah. Um, um, I mean, coaching more to how to say they like to. Uh, they like to close to you, lah. Mm. Oh. Uh, mm. In KL, I think there are a lot of. Um, uh, how to say the direct, more direct. Mm. Uh, oh. They don't. They don't need to say. You just straightforward. They're more straightforward mm. directly. Ah, ah, okay. Yeah, okay. Like that, so, so, okay, la, set time. <laughs> 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 okay. Okay. So, for yeah. those of you that don't know, Mr. Aaron actually owns an automotive workshop. Yeah. Is it? mm, yeah. It's called Start Autoworks. For those that we wish to know more about it, there's a link, contact all at the description below. We can visit him and contact him straight away. So, my question here is because what makes you think of having a workshop here in KL? Why not staying in your. Yeah, yeah. Hometown like that. What makes you come here? <laughs> yeah, um, it's a very good question. <laughs> uh, I I've been offered um, by the government mm -hmm. uh, oh. to have a uh, uh, a course from government um, about the testing. Mm. It's about quality testing. Mm. Quality so testing of uh, cars. It's no. It's quality testing of the processes. Like oh. QA, something like so that. Oh. Before this so, but this is more to software. Because oh. my background is is IT. Oh, you were oh. IT. Okay, nice. yeah. Okay. Yeah, what? yeah. So, I mean, IT. Uh, mm. Of course, uh, during that time, 
I how to say working with my parents, mm. uh, also selling ITs mm. or computers. Uh, I think that era we are selling computers in a three eight six processor. Mm. I think that time there is a brand called IBM. Oh, oh yeah, IBM. IBM. Yeah, IBM. Yeah, IBM. Yeah. It's like the so OGs. yeah, now <laughs> there's no IBM. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. not IBM. Mm. So uh, what makes you from? Transitioning from IT industry and then become automotive industry. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's a big transition. Yeah, it's quite. It, a it's transition. a big change, uh, I would say, lah. Mm. Uh, in terms of um, software mm. and mechanical, mm. because automotive more to mechanical yeah, thing. Yeah. See, uh, but but the, but automotive in the future now they are more rely on software already. So mm. yeah. meaning all everything are computerized. Uh, mm. We. We a system from the computer, um, they can able to tell uh, what type of uh, things that may get spoiled, something like mm. that. Okay. Especially True. the sensors, oh. things like that. Unlike an old school car, they don't have uh, uh, electronic uh, dependency, mm. so it's okay. more to mechanical, uh, more to uh, experience. Uh, maybe you just hear by sound, like mm. doctor checking your heart, you know, <laughs> uh, <laughs> that sound, uh, what's wrong with this engine, yeah. something like but that. Oh, but okay. nowadays they have a lot of uh, electronic dependency. Mm. Ah. So that's why nowadays uh, cars are more to electric, mm. motorized. True. So See? like through that, you kind of transition into this yeah. industry? So, um, but there's a lot of like, different paths like, you can choose. Why automotive though? <laughs> yeah, I understood that. Uh, actually, I, my dream wanted to build a software. Oh. Uh, because okay. I started my, uh, I started my computer since I was young. Mm-hmm. Um, I play games yeah. in my yeah. in my co- in my parents shop. You he know? also still play games. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, that's common for <laughs> every twenty years. So, but yeah, that yeah. time, that era, play games is. A bit different. Uh. So there is a snack game. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. the <laughs> classic yeah. childhood. Yeah. Games. So and then, um, uh, I mean, I mean that computer is uh, quite uh, quite interesting, mm. And then uh, installing a uh, Windows. Last time we w- we were in uh, three point one. Oh, uh, three point like one <laughs> is like the first Windows um, launch from Bill Gates. That time, yeah. yeah. Oh. So I um, admire Bill Gates actually. Oh, so really? because he didn't complete his uh, studies. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. He didn't yeah, complete his true. studies. Yeah. So he 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 just proceed what he wants to wish to do lah. So same as me lah. But I, but I finished my studies ah. <laughs> 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 okay. I finished my studies ah. So so I completed my um degree in uh, computer science. Mm. Uh, so it's more to computers um. Theories, uh, programming, this mm. or that. But I don't like programming. That's the problem. Mm. Uh, oh. <laughs> so I move to uh, testing, lah. Testing. Yeah, oh, testing. Okay. So more to quality. Uh. So precisely we test the program, mm. things or that. Uh, and how you move to <laughs> move again to automotive? <laughs> okay. So when I talk about automotive mm-hmm. uh, uh, segment, um, my parents uh, they know how to repair. Uh, Mini, my father. Mm-hmm. My father know how to repair the cars. Uh, so you're influenced by your father. Yeah, so <laughs> off lah. Because mm. I like cars. That's oh. the problem. Mm, no, See, okay. when I was young, I play a lot racing cars. Oh. Uh, so I started a racing car. I think there's a game title called Need for Speed. Ah, uh, Need for Speed. <laughs> yeah, I Need for Speed. That. So so it, it, it's uh, published by this uh, EA. Uh, developer, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so it's very famous. Yeah, yeah. Disney for speed because it's so realistic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so and then I join a lot of competition or uh, racing games, things mm. like that. Oh. So, so that's why I'm more into the cars. Cars Wait, w- were you like a pro gamer as well? Yeah, yeah. Whoa, <laughs> yeah. that's crazy. Yeah. Maybe one time we get to see his. The one <laughs> of the biggest I join is uh, called War Cyber Games. In short, sure. it's called War uh, WCG. Uh, I held a national final uh, oh. in uh, Mid Valley last time. Oh. Yeah, I think that is a uh, night. I think year. I think it was uh, fifteen years ago. Oh, I think so. You held it. You're like the organizer. No, no, no. Oh, you I joined as a oh, participant. Okay. Yeah. Final. Yeah. Oh. Final. Uh, I think semi final. Sorry. Oh. Okay. Uh, semi final okay. only. I cannot keep up because uh, <laughs> everyone is uh, too fast <laughs> because everyone are using keyboard. 
to but play oh. instead of the steering wheel. Oh, oh, you use steering wheel instead? No, no, we are using you keyboard used to, to race ah. instead of steering wheel. <laughs> So oh. everyone also very accurate lah. Precisely <laughs> ah, okay, race okay, ah. okay, okay, yeah. But you already used to the steering wheel kind. Uh, that time, um, I, I think I haven't started to drive yet. I think that was uh, 16 years old, I think, or 15 years old oh. uh, during that time. Yeah. Uh, of course, I, I learned to drive when I was 16 lah, oh. Because my father <laughs> let me to drive. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that Personally. Passed Pass the lesson <laughs> easier lah. Lesson uh, ah, correct. Oh, that's good. So uh. my father fixing cars mm. by his own, things of them. Mm. Uh, but now I think uh, he is a little bit lazy uh, because <laughs> because he's old already. Uncle, not we say what? This this one he he says all so oh, he's okay. lazy. So he wanted to find mechanic, but of course I cannot help him now uh, mm. because I I'm in KL. Mm. And you have uh, your own shop. I have own shop. What give you a courage to start your own mechanic workshop? Since before this you're IT and then you join virtual competitions, why suddenly the change of become physical workshop yeah. and doing hands-on? So like I say, I am more in the cars mm. a lot. I mm. like, I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe I like fast, something mm. like that. So For those of you that still haven't known, there's a teaser behind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so then uh, I used to rest a lot. Um, mm. Any cars, any platform of cars, uh, I will try to pass this back. I try to get involved. Mm. Um, there's a one of the competition uh, I raised is uh, is not drivable one. It's mm. a remotely uh, control. Oh. So it's a remote control it's like the, car. It's the small thing that runs yeah. on the circuit. Correct, oh, correct, yeah, correct. Yeah. correct. Oh, okay, so okay. I I have those cars. Mm. So oh. I have buggy, I have um, drift I oh. have uh, a rock type you car. You have a whole collection. Uh? I have whole collection. I think mm. oh, so. Okay. I think I have around five type of cars. So mm. yeah, but that hobby is quite expensive actually. <laughs> Sometimes I have to calculate. Oh, this thing it costs how much? How much? <laughs> yeah. Mm. So it has a it has a it has a gas type nitro. We call it nitro. Mm -hmm. It's a remote control one, uh -huh. and one is another. It's a battery operated one, powered. So that one, uh, so I play a lot that mm. one. So when I stop, uh, then I moved to KL. So KL was being offered by the government, like mm. I said just yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so that's how I started in KL. I'm stuck here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not just say stuck this yeah. one. <laughs> okay. I'm stuck here. Since so you're stuck here. <laughs> so I, since I stuck here, uh, then i looking around for mm. um, this uh, career de development. Oh. Mm -hmm. um, so of course, a lot of companies, IT mm. companies uh, hired me. Uh, of course, I moved around mm. here and there. Uh, mm. Then... Um, um, then I started to race a real car. Oh, okay. Yeah. Here comes oh. the review. Ah. Aaron here <laughs> <laughs> is also a real racer himself. Yeah. He mm. really drives. Off. What kind of car you you race? Uh, last time I used to race uh this a uh, Vios. Mm. Uh, uh, oh. that was uh with my uh my friend. Mm. All right. Okay. So with my friend, and then uh he wanted to in you know, involve a racing. Mm. And then also including my Fiesta. Mm. Uh, last time I used to have uh, one Fiesta to race that. Uh, but that will be a small platform of a uh, race event. Mm. So Fiesta, I used to race for time attack. So time attack is oh something yeah. like you you drive around the circuit uh, longly, mm. uh, solo, uh, without any disturbance from other, other opponent. Mm. So you know, you go compete door by door. You just okay. like compete in, try your best how fast mm. you can. It's like trying to get the fastest, the fastest time. Oh, okay. yeah, okay. correct. <laughs> so there's a time I take platform. All right. Yeah. So That's from there, after that, then uh, I think that one race for two years. Then they are race for a real one, mm. bigger circuit. So this is the Sepang. Yeah. Sepang. Mm. So oh. that is a VIOS actually. Mm. Okay. okay. So because yeah. before this, just now you mentioned that. You, you raise remote one yeah. And you already say That one is quite expensive Yeah correct But correct. now you raise A real one Yeah Isn't the expenses A little higher <laughs> Than just now uh, Or it's the same 
I think it got slightly higher. higher. <laughs> yeah. Mm. This mm. RC car actually is quite expensive as well. <laughs> what um, makes you choose such an expensive passion? <laughs> expensive, expensive hobby. Yeah. Yeah. What makes you choose <laughs> yeah. an expensive hobby? Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, maybe you can't help it, Maybe is it like your hobby? Uh, yeah, this is my hobby, lah. <laughs> so you just yeah. kind of like, yeah, it's worth it. Like, at least I enjoy yeah. doing it, right? Yeah, so yeah. Maybe that's like yeah. I don't know why, lah. So <laughs> I, I can't tell you why. <laughs> so you already like involved in racing industry. What makes you like on, open your own physical service workshop? Yeah. Why not just focus on racing? So, um, I mean, since I already race in a. Sepang circuit for around How three years, years, I think. <laughs> yeah, mm. three years. So from Vios, they are. I bought another car. Mm. Uh, actually, we uh, sharing with my friends and uh, things mm. like that uh. But end, end up, uh, it doesn't work out. So then I have to uh, um, for out myself and mm. then race uh, with my own uh, with this uh, saga. Mm-hmm. So this saga is uh, quite special. Mm. Uh, to me, it. it it just a lo- looks like a normal sedan car. Uh-huh. It doesn't look like a potential car. It's just a sedan car to me. Mm-hmm. But why this car can have a very fast timing, you know, in the circuit things like that? Mm. Because it's just like running a carburetor, one point five liter engine. Okay. So it's not very doesn't look good, lah. You know. So and then we purchase that car, and then keep continue that uh, saga. Um, uh, passion. Mm. Uh, so there's a race event called Saga Cup, uh, okay. organized by MSF. Okay. Yeah. So the MSF already. Uh, I think, I think more than five years already, lah. Okay. More than five years. Oh. So so I joined that. <laughs> so joined that for three years, for that saga. So, uh, of course I gained a lot of experience. Mm. I met a lot of people. Mm. Uh, of course, uh, exposure, a little bit gained there. Yeah. yeah. Of course, um, yeah. So when I'm in a racing uh, industry, mm-hmm. uh, people uh, keep asking me why you um, don't repair, help me repair my car, something like that. Mm. God, I have a customers a lot ask me to help me to repair <laughs> the cars, help me upgrade the cars. Mm. I say I I have a limited uh, capabilities mm. to oh, help you lah. Okay. Uh, so. Uh, I accepted certain customers. Yeah. How certain? Uh, what makes you say certain? Selected customers. customers so, are, oh. um, mm-hmm. okay. Because they come to my place uh, mm. uh, in my uh, resident area. Mm. Oh. So I cannot make a lot of cars. So I have a limited, I have an appointment. So they come in my place and f- help them to fix the car, okay. upgrade the cars, this or that. Or else I'll be go to my. Uh, uh, my friend workshop mm. uh, to perform a major work, something like that. Okay. Mm. Yeah, something like that. So mm. from there, I think oh, Ting Tong, Ting Tong helping Ting. my <laughs> customers' <Yeah>. cars uh, <laughs> for, I think, three years there. Oh. Yeah. Then yeah, three years. After that, you decided that maybe it's okay yeah. to open your own workshop. Because the customer keep asking okay. me, why <laughs> don't you open workshop? <laughs> Make me easier to come <laughs> in, assess, you know, yeah. fix yeah, on yeah. time, something like that. Sense, but sense. actually, they are not rushing me lah because they are... Advising uh, uh, advice. Yeah, they advise, uh, have a proper uh, place or something mm. like that. Mm, uh, yeah. Because last time I have my resident area, I think, occupied for five cars or three cars. <laughs> <laughs> just waiting for what? service or either service or either oh. upgrade cars things like oh, that yeah okay. so I have a car that can be there like one or two weeks there just to <laughs> mock the car only so mm. but that thing I seldom post in the Facebook lah. yeah mm. because that time I was still working mm. so I working as a part time mm. I would say lah. so part time and then daytime working with uh, corporates things like that so of course um uh, Part time having a uh, dirty hands, ah. mm. yeah. yeah. <laughs> so daytime is uh, with a keyboard, more, keep, ah. more clean, <laughs> more comfortable. Uh, kind. Yeah, so tita tita there, lah. Uh. So that's how you end up having a physical workshop. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Mm. We visited your workshop like quite some times already, okay. and then I realized most of your customers are actually forts. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, is it a coincidence or do you? Sp- Specifically wanted to serve these kind of customers, or it's a, <laughs> it's a very good question. It's not only you asking this. 
Why your workshop mm. have a lot of fault mm. I said Because on the Saturday asking. I went The whole row is fault users Then <laughs> I think yeah. Is this something <laughs> Yeah correct correct uh, I'm not a fault fan actually huh? <laughs> I'm <laughs> not a fault fan <laughs> But all your customers <laughs> are from fault But I'm curious So that time There's a There's a car uh, Being launched mm-hmm. From this uh, Sam Tabby Mm-hmm. Uh, they launched a Ford car. Uh, it's a called Fiesta. Mm-hmm. This Fiesta, when you one glance, ah, uh, eh, wow, it's so sleek. It's so, uh, how to say, it's quite sexy, uh, <laughs> uh, Quite the, 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 the look is very attractive, uh, I would say, la. <laughs> Okay, mm, okay. Then I have your to heart try. starts to itch already. No, there is a spec. They, their spec is very uh, quite good actually. Mm. Uh, the spec okay. is like a six-speed DCT. So it's a dual class transmission. Oh, okay. So that is what I'm in into this uh, Fiesta, and then because this transmission is very special, mm. that is used in a Ferrari. Mm. Ferrari is using this kind of a concept. concept. Mm, okay. Yeah, it's a dual class. So it's and then the price they announced is quite uh, affordable, as well. So compared to a common like a Vios things on that, just slightly maybe more expensive like or uh, five thousand. Or oh, six thousand, okay, like okay. yeah. So not not much, uh. Not much difference mm, there, okay. yeah. And then it's a continental car. Uh, <laughs> that test drive that car. Uh, and then you fell in love. Yeah, <laughs> I I tested the car. I can say I'm very wow. Why this car is so agile <laughs> compared to other, other car, car? You know, it's just a test drive car. <laughs> it's not my own car. I say. <laughs> and they car already been driven by someone already, but oh. this car still looks good, you know, <laughs> and so stable. So in terms of uh, performance, like mm. handling, they are very very good. Mm. And that's uh. how you end up with a Ford yourself. Yeah, you know? because I'm I'm a racer, mm. so I need a very good Quick. handling <laughs> and grip grip car, mm. so so that I can drive faster, something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. Uh. So, yeah. So, but. Because your because I think your customers saw that you own your Ford. That's mm. why now your customers mostly are also Ford users. Yeah, themselves. so I'm, so I'm I'm an owner mm-hmm. of the Fiesta. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, and then uh, because I race, mm. so there's op- exposure there. Es- so customers see, uh, saw and that thing, and then uh, they, they trusted you. They wanted me to do something for their car, <laughs> to mm. improve their car, oh. to enhance their car, mm. okay. make it um, better performance. More to performance, I would say. But in terms of maintenance wise, I, I think that time they they still under warranty, so they have to go back to do the servicing. <laughs> the work, yeah. uh, but some they got special requests. Uh, they want their own special lubricants, things like that. Mm. Yeah. Uh, then uh, I owning that car for three years. Uh, so far so good. No, <laughs> nothing. I will say nothing major. I think. But you also did some modifications on the car already. A little bit right. here and there only <laughs> la, here and there A la. little bit also cost a lot already. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so people are so curious why your car so fast. <laughs> you know, I said actually. Got a secret. Not, uh, secret is a uh, driver. <laughs> la, <also>. ah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a driver. <laughs> yeah. Mm, very humble. The very secret, humble. Yeah. The secret is within the driver, uh, not yeah. the car. Yeah. So, but of course the car gives a, 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 a capability mm. to perform. Uh, by the driver la. Mm. So the driver Can able to drive On certain technique mm. Of course the car Must have the capability mm. To perform la. To suit with the driver's Capability of person Yeah correct Correct correct. Mm. Okay. So okay. from there Then That's this how I started la. Okay. Because yeah. you started This career It's like Suddenly Just a lot of experience Only you decided To own this workshop la. Yeah so, so that's why I have a lot of networks <laughs> Especially for Ford so oh. even though the internal people there, <laughs> I also mingle with them lah. Mm. Uh, because is in the yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> so they know me lah. I will mm. say lah. Mm. Um, so because I always mingle with them, things like that. Is it because they found out that I'm a very uh, uh true, how to say, true fan lah. But I'm not really like so crazy. It's <laughs> like, a fan, that kind of fan lah. Mm. Uh, uh, just that he knows I'm very good in this car, things like that. Uh, so. Sometimes I will tell them uh, what to fix and then just take note on my car, you know. Mm. Because during that time I was still under warranty in my car. So I, I had to mingle with the mechanics, uh, mm. service advisor, the managers, things like that. So far the car no problem. <laughs> but only the clutch a bit failing there. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, but they want after change a new yeah, type yeah, of ma- uh, clutch, then there's a lot of improvement already. I so believe you can uh, solve this. Yeah. <laughs> so, so from there, three years, mm. then I saw the car actually. <laughs> you saw the car? I saw the car. What, what makes you so saw the car? I saw the car, the Fiesta, because the Fiesta is a four doors. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, it's a 1.6 liter and then it's uh, running 120 horsepower. Mm-hmm. All right. It's an auto, of course. It's a door clutch system. Uh, three years I own, then Sandebi launched another Fiesta model. Oh. And then cut your heart again. <laughs> I aimed that car for so long because oh. it was launched in UK. Oh, so, so it was your okay. goal to So have you are aware car. of it already? I already mm-hmm. aware for a year ago before oh. I purchased that. Okay. Yeah, so it was uh, very good. It looks good because I know the standard Fiesta is already quite good. So this ST must be performed better. <laughs> la. Mm. They are curious. They are first day of the test drive event from Side Derby, they launched it called uh, Fiesta ST. It's, a, it's a something like a Honda Civic Type R. It's a something mm. another oh, okay. level of uh, performance, a variant. Okay. Um, car that uh, gives you more power and uh, so you better sold performance. your power car to get more power. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I have to keep upgrade and upgrade. Yeah, upgrade. yeah. So because uh, not to say I'm boring with my old car. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not yeah. enough for you. Yeah. So it's, it's a limited day lah. Uh, mm, so okay. I need the better yeah. one. So yeah, yeah. First day I drive the car. I'm still get the same excitement that I purchased the first Fiesta. So you're like mm. a kid in a candy shop already first day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, it's like I throw the money, d- take my money. <laughs> you know? <laughs> take my money. Yeah. You could take it. <laughs> you just take my money. You, you already know? save up for that car already, is it? Uh sort of la. Sort of. Ah. I take my saving account, okay. <laughs> okay. okay. To be okay. okay. So you just take my money. Ah, I take my money. <laughs> I throw a deposit. <laughs> yeah. So the assessment say I'm the f- uh, Malaysia first unit for Fiesta ST. Oh, yeah. So they invited uh, a Hong Kong, uh, uh, Hong Kong people. Uh, it's a Western people actually. Mm. Hong Kong uh, company because mm-hmm. the Hong Kong fort is a uh, center of the fort mm. for Asia Pacific. Mm, so okay. that Western people came to Malaysia Ooh, and to hand on the key for me. Whoa. Whoa. Ah, is that ah, the best order. highlight of your life? <laughs> yeah, I would say so lah. <laughs> <laughs> because I just throw my money, take my money. <laughs> but make sure you give my car as soon as possible. <laughs> so I got my car, I think uh, within a week or uh, one week only. Oh, <laughs> that's uh, quick. Yeah, that's quick. Yes, they said they have already stopped. So uh. I think I possess everything. Then next week I got the car ready. Wow. So I got the car on my birthday. Wow. wow! That's the best day <laughs> of your life. Yeah. Year. So it's on my gift. own gift. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your own gift. You pampered yourself. That yeah, way. correct, correct. Right. So, of course, doing all this, as I say, is very expensive. Have you received any judgments or discouragement for pursuing this passion before? Uh, yeah, of course. You receive a lot of compliments, things like mm. that. Like, judgment. How about judgments or all those like, uh. yeah, don't, don't follow this passion. Uh. You're wasting your time. Oh. Uh, all those. Do you receive those before? Uh, those are uh, negative. Yeah, those mm. negative uh, feedbacks. Uh, uh, this un- discourage yeah. you to... Okay, yeah, of course, of course. Uh. Okay, what is one of the example that you received before that you never forget? <laughs> it always in my mind. Uh. But I want to prove them... Um, you, as long as I have a commitment Then mm. I can able to continue it So mm. your yeah. passion is more More stronger than those Yeah correct feedback, so. Correct correct mm. So of course um, Of course my close relative mm. Including my parents uh, yeah. Mm. yeah because it's a big change there <laughs> Yeah yeah, yeah. yeah When uncle change. teach his son about cars He didn't realise that his son would go <laughs> <laughs> Until this <laughs> stage No actually they know I'm very good I'm hard to say I'm not to say good I will say Um I'm 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 very in in the racing car. Mm. Any racing I will join. <laughs> mm. Computer racing, mm. remote control remote car. Control. As long as it's car, I will go and race. I, d- I don't know why that is my. <laughs> 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 but then from that stage, they w- they already have give you advice for not being too like not falling into deep or. Y- yeah. So of course, uh, I based on my I have a little bit saving that I try to spend. They're mm. just curious, go and try to make myself uh, 
to have an experience. Mm. Uh, so. But they won't try like stop you before, right? Or they just yeah, of course they say this is expensive. <laughs> I said it's okay. I I I eat bread lah. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I sacrifice uh, meal. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> that was young like that time lah. <laughs> so mm. that of course your decision making will be a little mm. bit not so firm. Do you have so any you're more eager to go lah. You, do you know? have any tactics to convince them into letting them like become more? Uh, yeah. Secure? Of course, I have to ask them to trust me ah. Trust mm. me ah. Mm. Uh, trust me. So as long as I, Everyone is the same actually. If you have a full commitment, I'm sure you can do mm. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. As long as you determine with your yeah passion. Yeah. Correct. So, so that's how, that's how I open my workshop. Mm. So I'm it's a sign of a proof to others to yeah is yeah. So I want to join the. I mean, so open a workshop. Mm. Uh, helping people to fix the car. Mm. So I managed to repair the car. Mm. I feel the thrill lah, you know, mm. the, the excitement lah. Where so do you learn to fix cars? Because before this, your IT ma, you didn't go correct. to like automotive school or anything. Correct. So where do you get all your skills and knowledge in um, car services? In terms of my skill, uh, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm okay with my imagination. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the, the moment they do something, I will try to imagine why, why, you know, and what, what. Mm. You think mm. ahead. I will think uh. ahead one. Mm. Um, so, like my parents, whatever they do, of course, I don't know that why my father do like that. So, uh. I, I just see and learn. Oh. Uh. Okay. So, observer. I learn from my father, la, I will say. Mm. Uh. Mm. Uh, of course, uh, I also have to learn a little bit theory. Yeah, before I pursue. It's same like you go to studies. Mm. They also let you to learn the theory first. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Right be- before you hands on a practical yeah. something like that. So same goes to car. Mm, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, but when I selling, uh, actually before start towards, I got started to selling a uh, car parts. Mm. This so car part is a performance car parts. Mm. Uh, uh, so especially you start like sell selling products first. Only yeah. you trans- transition. Correct. To correct. Because my my career actually is in sales a lot. Mm. Mm-hmm. I selling computers. I selling office equipments, mm. uh, like office automation. Um, also selling a handphones, mobile phones. Uh-huh. Uh, that oh. era, I think dori- during uh, Sony Ericsson that era. Wow. Yeah. Oh. So a long time workman that era. So you really have a lot of experience in sales. Electronics. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I sell okay. a lot of electronics things. Okay, okay. Yeah, sales. So of course. <laughs> uh, I know how to deal with them. <laughs> you already <laughs> yeah. seen a lot of different kind of people, yeah. their personality. So they are more to uh, this uh, sort of, I mean, in the car industry, then I started to sell performance car parts, especially the suspension, brake systems, and uh, brake pads, things like that. Mm. So, so from there, I, I started selling. But the thing is, I supply only. Mm. Mostly I supply, and of course, I. I sell the customers as well because some of the dealers they don't know how to do. I say, why you don't know how to do? <laughs> <laughs> you want me to open my own workshop? Then you can do, is it? <laughs> <laughs> or you let me do <laughs> what something like that? Uh, <laughs> you know, something I do, then you can do something mm. like that. Uh, ah, so that kind of inspire you as well. Uh. Yeah, yeah. So it's one of the reason I open a workshop, uh. Because some dealer they say I don't know how to install suspension. <laughs> I don't know how to tune the suspension. And then you have to hands I, on help them. Yeah, I have to teach them. <laughs> Why I have to teach them? <laughs> they have experience for ten years and twenty years. I have to teach them and now. <laughs> okay, so. So and then you fed up and then you just open one. Not fed up lah. I mean, you. Sh- I mean, as a as a mechanic, you should you must so not stop learning ah. Mm. Must continue learn. Anything job, um, also have to continue learn one. Non stop learning. Once you stop learning, I think. Uh, you may. You may give up your future technologies. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Because your whole journey is, I can see, is very f- enriched with a lot of different experience. Uh, or yeah. mm-hmm. What's your biggest step back? Like, which part of your experience that you remember the most and then you learn from that incident? Do you mind sharing with us? <laughs> it's a good question, actually. <laughs> it's another good question. Because. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm sure it's not everything is like not so smoothly as we can see from here. There's surely yeah. some challenges that you face and then surely some some things that make you I take one example property. of one of my business mm. is uh, selling handphones. Mm. Mm. Uh, I selling handphone for about two years. Uh, I think after two years, I don't think it's it's quite challenge to mm. make money because it's quite fast, and you need a lot a lot of money to fast roll. Fast as in because handphones keep changing. They keep changing. Uh, changing. This phone, this model, it won't last you three months or six months. You Ooh. have to change already So you cannot keep the stock very mm. long wow. So you cannot hold the stock on hand like On hand uh. And one handphone it costs you thousand and thousand yeah. So they are al- one brand already more than 20 models there <laughs> yeah. So it's very hefty amount mm. there And they need a lot of capital to roll it mm. So yeah. were you doing like the phone selling business yourself or like with yeah. partners? Oh uh, myself actually. Oh, you I, were doing. I opened stuff. another area, uh, away from my, uh, parents' IT shop. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, so that's why it's tough lah, cause you're doing it yourself. Y- um, like I said, I have a commitment, mm. so I have to commit it. So mm. I try my best to achieve it. So far, so good. Uh, I don't lose a lot of money, but the thing is. <laughs> Is that a step back? I don't know. Mm, I think it's so. It's something that you remember. Uh, that I remember, yeah, yeah. Uh, because I spent a lot of money, I spent a lot of time there. So it's quite challenging what's, there. What's the lesson that you learned from that? Um, learn. Uh. Yeah. Or is it something that you remember and maybe in the future you'll be more careful? I, I learned that I don't have enough money. To compete with them, (laughs) those uh, you know, handphone shop (laughs) seller. Yeah, you know, you have a lot of handphone shop seller here and there, and then customer will ask you why your phone no discount. People Mm. give discount for me, and then they give you a free gift. Mm. I say why you don't have free gift. I say you want free gift, I can give, Mm. but I cannot give you the original. Because that time, that era, they have uh, uh, they have uh, something uh, called a third party. Uh-huh, yeah. Or uh, something, uh, uh, it's not original, uh, unique from Malaysia. That supplied mm. by Malaysia. Okay. It's, uh, it's uh, how to say, overseas unit, they import themselves. So it's, it's called imported set. Uh. Mm. So it'll be slightly cheaper than original, like... Mm, 200 to up to 500 ringgit difference mm. there yeah so there's a comparison there so there's a challenge uh, because our motive is to sell original unit mm. genuine unit so they can keep customer longer have a return sell something like that better after sell service because import, imported set after sell service will be uh, not the very good because once spoil you there's no uh, they have no replacement because the version of the Malaysia unit and the imported set mm. will be slightly different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then some they are they be a refurbished unit, mm. so it's not a new. So when you compare a new and new with an imported set and the or- original, it will be slightly different, especially the display. Mm. Yeah, and the performance and the battery as well. Mm. Yeah. Ah, okay. So that is the one of the ch- biggest challenge uh, selling mm. handphone. Uh, uh, so I think I would put this as a biggest step back mm. la. Yeah. Mm. But for automotive you don't you didn't receive this kind of step back right? Yeah, because automotive you can I don't want to think first. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, we don't let think me, about let that. Let me roll continue. Just I go try, with the uh, yeah, flow like that. Yeah, <laughs> just uh. let my throttle keep co- continue. <laughs> la. uh, Instead uh, okay. I have to depress the brake pedal. Uh, so you just uh, want to okay. keep on moving forward. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Correct, see, correct. So sorry. Yeah. So the reason also I opened a workshop because customer request. Mm. Um, uh, I want to fix the right thing mm. because most of the uh, people may not fix the right thing. So they just try to keep continue and continue the same problem. Mm. Maybe they don't know how or maybe they don't know or maybe don't have much time or the customer don't give a lot of making Make it need time to fix it, something like that. So, yeah. So, so you kind of like, you feel like you can, you can help them do it, but 
Okay, yeah, so you mostly I can lah. Uh, mostly uh, I can say lah. Uh, the probability is like maybe ninety five percent or ninety percent uh, lah. Uh, at least ah. Uh, uh. Okay, let's not think about what you may <laughs> you may encounter and labor. So in this automotive industry, what is the hardest part in doing like continue in this industry right um, now? <laughs> As you experience customer, of course, hard? customer may not happy uh, when pay us uh. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because uh, your service, your quality is all guaranteed. Yeah, because because one car, okay, when the customer came to workshop, mm-hmm. the car is all mm. all right. Mostly their mileage is more than mileage is more than hundred thousand kilometer. Mm. It's like it's about the time service already. No. So by the time the customer say I have this problem, mm. after we fix that problem, when we check other area, then you find another problem. Another problem, but the problem is not problem yet. <laughs> the so problem other is other people don't well, know there's a yeah there's upcoming, uh, upcoming problem. Problems. Yeah, mm. so it depends on customer they want to fix or not. Oh. But sometimes I cannot <laughs> let one eye uh, <laughs> one eye close one eye open like this. Uh, correct, correct. Uh, so I cannot so let. So you're the type that. If you fix any cars, you will go through the whole car to see whether there's yeah. any upcoming problems. That yeah, correct. The owner himself also don't know about it. Yeah, because because mm. I'm a racer, mm. <laughs> so I prepare a race car. Mm. I want to ensure this car can finish the lap, <laughs> uh, finish the circuit mm. or finish the race. Mm. You know? so I need to ensure all the car is tip top. So I don't want a DNF. Did mm. not finish. <laughs> so I have a same. I have a, this concept la, so for like customers' car. La. So for any cars, also you apply this concept into it. Yeah, correct, correct. So that so they, they have will be a habit. It's a habit like that. Yeah, mm. it's a hab- my habit. Yeah. <laughs> so of course, my habit to let my customer to be happy. Mm. Yeah. Mm. But then they will get upset because. Uh, when of course they are a little bit upset when you see my view <laughs> la. <laughs> because I ask them to fix more, more things. things. Ah. Yeah, that's the that's the thing ah, So yeah, the more yeah. thing, of course, the more amount they yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Usually when they get upset, how do you do with them? <laughs> I say, once you fix, at least this car will not give you a Any hassle, uh, mm. breakdown, things or that. Yeah, yeah. So asking a towing because asking towing, you will took you, it will take you like two hours, you know. Uh, <laughs> so it's wasting of time. Yeah, time. So either you want to waste time, or you want to fix it now, or later. Mm-hmm. And mm. then they will just buy this. Uh, so there's a okay, okay, I, don't, I trust you. You go ahead. Ah, <laughs> uh, something like okay. that. But some customer <laughs> is, they say, "Eh, hey, Aaron, you help me check what are the component you need to be replaced." Uh, it's about the time to change this or that. Yeah, I will check for them, no? Ah, mm. Things like that, lah. Um, how was your question again? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's the what's my, my question really? Yeah? Oh, you do it as a habit in checking all those. How do you deal with customer that is not satisfied? Oh, oh. not satisfied. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I your have story one. too nice already. I mean myself also forget <laughs> about the <laughs> question that I asked. Oh my god, sorry. Yeah, because. Uh. Because we face a lot of uh, many type of customers. Yeah. Some customer they trust you. Some customer is like they uh, have a concern with mm. you. Mm. Some will have doubt, uh, like saying uh, they approach same. you, but they still have a doubt, like. Uh, yeah, yeah, correct, correct. <laughs> because they don't know you. Mm. Mm, yeah, um, yeah. Because once you open a workshop, you will have a lot of new customers. Mm. Yeah. And because you recently this workshop for how long already? I start Octoworks. Uh. It's already a year. A year, that a year. Oh, okay. okay, okay. Yeah, a year. Uh, of course, I planned this workshop long time ago, lah. <laughs> I think they plan already mm. three years. You la. found a partner, right? Yeah, for the yeah I have a partner. He will be soon. Yeah. I will invite him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So mm. I invited him, lah. Mm. Uh, I said I actually I already aim to open a workshop before before I met him, mm. <laughs> So I planned this workshop. I think two to three years already. Mm. Whether this workshop is making money or not, or <laughs> how do I make money with this workshop? Mm. Because workshop is not easy. Mm. Mm. So of course, like you said, mm. uh, some customer not happy. Yeah. Because when they come, okay, okay I tell you why the customer <laughs> not happy. Yeah, okay. Customer say I want to fix this problem. Mm. Okay. Yeah. When they fix this problem, when they go out already, mm. eh, another problem. So it's only a time bomb. Yeah. So but the say, eh? They will come back. Why, why I ask you to fix this 
problem end up I have another, another problem, problem. See? Yeah. Ah. Ah. So, so this is not my problem. He mm. said customer is not say it's not, not my problem. It's your problem. You you damage my car. Oh, oh. Then how you deal with this kind of situation? Yeah, I say <laughs> I can open up this part. I let you see. This is the component that already went there. Mm. It's all car. Okay. Yeah. Ah, I don't damage it. So you just it's prove no to point. them. Yeah. If I damage it, I will compensate mm. you. Not a problem. Mm. So especially like car overheat. Mm. There's one time. There's a one case. It's car overheat. But actually, the it's just a very small matter. It's mm. a cooling system problem. But we didn't fix that department mm. because when we fix that department, mm. it has a no rela- relation with, with that cooling system mm. one. But that car already been fixed by someone, mm. so we are just help them to make them. Mm. Uh, so there's a thermostat failing, mm-hmm. causing overheat. Mm. It's just a small issue. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but they don't, wa- they don't want to. Uh, they don't want to pay for these parts. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this is one of the thing we have facing mm. So oh. have a difficulty la. So it's okay. I say if you have money, you you pay us. If you feel that not satisfied, uh, I can say this is not my problem. Mm. So I can let you take and go something like that. You don't. Oh. So I don't want you uh, because of this problem. You're not happy, and uh, then you're causing. Havoc or what or mm, viral something like no, that. Okay, yeah, okay. we try to. Yeah, because sometimes we facing all car have to be very very careful compared yeah, to yeah. a new car that is mileage below one hundred thousand. So old car, old car is more fragile than a new car. Yeah. Can uh be yeah, like because there's a lot of wear and tear things mm. coming up. And then no wonder that just now you mentioned you will go through the whole car to see whether there's any upcoming yeah, problems correct. so you can avoid this kind of yeah correct correct because situation. some customer they said <laughs> I'm I'm in budget. Mm. So we just help them to fix a little a bit, bit there, uh, like that, like yeah, they go, maintain like. their budget and then uh, just budget, what you uh, can. So you start saving, like we will tell them you start saving for the upcoming service, maybe after two to three months or uh, something like that. Uh. Because mm. obviously your because car is something like human. Yeah. Doctor tell you the problem, you have to take care. Mm. You have to eat some supplement <laughs> to maintain yes. your body yeah, health. Yeah. You mm. see? So some so customers you're not willing to pay, you know, For supplement, the- <laughs> something like that. Mm. Yeah. Like vitamin C, you know, mm. something yeah. like that. Uh, or cod liver oil, something like yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's a very good <laughs> analogy. <laughs> nice example. analogy. Okay. <laughs> so obviously you're a car lover. Yeah. What's the one habit that you cannot tahan other people doing their to their car? What's the one little habit that you cannot tahan? Um <laughs> It's a must to fix, uh, I would say. The thing that is a must to fix. Mm. But they, um, they don't have a budget, mm. something like that. Then we will give him a better option. Mm. Maybe which is a cheaper uh, cheaper brand. Uh, the parts will be cheaper. Mm. So they can suit his budget, uh, something mm. like that. Okay. Uh. Because you own a physical workshop and mm. then you are a racer yourself, yeah. how do you juggle the time like Continue your passion, but at the same time maintain your shop's performance. Uh, or is there? Once uh, I open the workshop, uh, mm-hmm. uh, I didn't go and rest already. <gasps> I don't have mm. time to rest also. Mm. Will you feel? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because I achieved already. <laughs> That's the thing. Oh. The rest I achieved already because I'm, I achieved a, uh, in podium. Mm. I think the highest I got is a second second position. Whoa. And uh, overall, Saga Cup uh, second position. So consider okay already la. I mm. achieved this dream la. Oh. Do yeah. we? Do I don't we? have first, but almost first la, I was say <laughs> <laughs> But there is some controversy mm. this and that <laughs> So it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Maybe Will next we time. have a chance to sit in your car one day? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. To why see not? Your test. Oh. Yes. Why not? Why Please not? stay tuned for the video. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So. You achieved that, so now you're heading on to a new goal, right? That. Yeah, correct. Okay. So, so I'm a little curious. So in the future, who would you want to become? Like, what do you want to be known for? Like, if next time in the future, if I give you a chance to be famous, what do you want people to know you as? A racer, a mechanic workshop, or how? What's your vision? Mm, I will say, don't let them follow me. Uh. Why? 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 Why?
you know, left and right, left and right, like a circuit, you know. So yeah. left and right, left and right. It's experience. So, yeah. Yeah. So it's quite, quite challenging. Oh, la, I did not to, expect to, this. To, to finish the line, la, I would say. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> you can follow me, but the thing <laughs> is, uh, I think you need a lot of time la, and patience. Mm. Yeah. Who you want to become? Like, what do you want to be popular for? Say like a role model, uh, like a, someone that you admire, that you want, that you wish you can be like them. Mm, not. I want to be someone that is. He is rich enough. Whoa. I can spend a lot of money on the car. Take my money. Take my money. <laughs> I don't want to repay the car. <laughs> <laughs> you want to get a new car? I, I want to rest. Yeah. Oh. Uh, so, so in the future, you still want to be in the racing. Yeah, of course. Of, of course, of course. Mm. Mm. Yeah, because uh, racing uh, is my passion, uh. Yeah. Mm. So it's kind of like your life already, uh. Yeah, of course. Mm. But of course, running a workshop, I have to uh, running the workshop. Com- as you say, commitments, lah. Uh. Yeah, commitment there because I have to take care of my uh people, you know, the staff. Mm. Uh, yeah. Make sure they are facing the right thing, mm. and make sure they know how to do things on that. Because I visited a lot of uh, workshop, um, you just keep trying and error. But of course, there is an expert one. They mm. know, mm. they are experienced. They really know. Yeah. Uh, but some non experienced, they also know. They have good imagination. Oh, oh like you, oh. Like me, <laughs> like oh. you are good imagination. <laughs> but I'm good. I would say I'm good in mechanical, lah. Okay. Uh, mechanical. So. Can we know how much you spend on your car? <laughs> Approach like estimately. If, oh, oh, of course, it's expensive. <laughs> yes. It's a lot of money. But of you course. have no regrets on it, right? But I try to save bit by bit, lah. Because last time I raced a saga, I try to save bit by bit, lah. Uh, not overspend. Mm. Um, because the saga car have a four level of categories. Okay. So they are pro level is the highest one. Mm-hmm. Uh, last time I joined one is an advanced category, oh. so which is a top second. Ooh. Okay, okay. Ooh. So that is the limit, uh, my budget <laughs> to join <laughs> the race, uh. because the pro level I have to spend more money to oh, compete with com- the pro level, uh, so wow. to make the car faster. Yeah, mm. yeah. So What's you prepare a race car, beginning, I think for Saga is okay. Still acceptable. It's quite affordable because you can prepare that car. I would say fifteen thousand within yeah, the budget. Fifteen thousand, okay. Eh? Yeah, fifteen thousand, okay. Yeah, uh, but when you maintain the car, the rest car, especially yeah, joining fee, uh, tires, fuel, uh, maintenance for the car parts, is keep prolonging mm. there. Yeah, of course, I have my personal car. Uh, that one also spent quite some, uh, quite there, mm. yeah, <laughs> yeah, quite there, <laughs> yeah. So if you say amount, I think <laughs> I'm countless. Uh. I, don't know how, <laughs> I don't know how to count la. <laughs> Of course, it's five figure there la. Mm. Okay, what's the next step? What's your next goal? Next goal. Yeah, is there uh, any cars in mind already or? Yeah, of course I try my best uh, to achieve my dream to to grow my business <laughs> especially this uh, start towards a bigger workshop mm. oh, so that I can serve my customer better uh, of course that time uh, I will you know train my staff to work better uh, mm. on the cars things out there know how mm. to fix so you want to like expand run. your yeah, yeah expand my business not uh. just I do it alone uh. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. do it alone I don't think yeah, that I don't think it's uh, a lot of time to do it. Uh. Mm. Uh, uh, meaning, meaning you have to spend a lot of effort actually to do the car. Um, it's not easy task also. You need a lot of uh, expert and experience uh, to perform the fixes. Uh. Yeah. Okay. But of course, I know how to fix. Of but course. The, yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, if I want to grow, mm. I need to uh, I train people. Mm. Ah, to fix yeah, the yeah, car. Yeah. yeah. What's What's the one thing that you wish to know before you start all this automotive industry, having a physical workshop? Uh-huh. What's the one thing that you wish to know beforehand before you start? Money. 
Money. Okay. So I see money is always the problem. <laughs> money because no money, no talk. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. True. Society. Yeah. No money. Like how much does it take to operate monthly? It will take you like six figures. Six figures. Yeah. Just monthly. To open no, I mean to open a, a new workshop. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Have, have if, if, if you want to have, have proper tools, you want to have a proper equipments. Mm. Those tools are very expensive. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So, um, if you say operating expenses, of course, it's five figure there. <laughs> it's not cheap. Oh. But okay. do you guys actually make make it back every? Like, uh, yeah. So oh we oh open. <laughs> What's that face? <laughs> Why <laughs> suddenly uh, so? <laughs> because uh, we never expect that. Um, because we open a new workshop. Mm-hmm. Uh, when the pan- pandemic just started. Ah. Timing. Yeah, timing. Yeah. I fall is not that, I would say not good also. Mm. Mm. Ah, yeah. not a very you didn't right expect time. this thing to happen as well. Correct, correct, correct. Yeah. But I got slightly prepared for that because I heard China having this problem. Ah. Mm. Yeah, having this problem. So it's you know, non-play. It's something <laughs> like SARS already. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah true. Yeah. Okay. So we last year, I would say we are surviving. Mm. <laughs> yeah. okay. But doing better, la. is it going better? Uh, yeah, yeah, better. Yeah, now it's better. That's you better. mean yeah, yeah. now and this month, of course, it's better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, better slightly because of the, uh, the 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 restriction is lesser already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, um, hopefully the vaccine works, uh, You know, so mm. that we can keep us healthy and then make the economy yes. better yeah or else customer may have a worry that they may not go out they they cannot go mm. to work things like that yeah, yeah. they don't go to work no, of course the car will be lesser usage during last year pandemics because you mentioned that you're you were closed for two weeks or yeah we closed for two weeks mm. when the the first uh, mcr mm. Have yeah. you received any calls like a customer <laughs> saying they need your help? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there is. They say, uh, since MCO, why might not you take my car and do a major work? Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Some took some ah. took this chance lah. Ah, so ma- major lah. So <laughs> because they are not using the car, mm. ah. so they were asked to you know tow the car to the workshop, <laughs> do a major lah. But there will be uh, after two weeks lah because mm. that was. Uh, uh, because we are part of the essential service so uh, for transportation mm. so we can able to open a certain time only okay uh, yeah. yeah what's the best compliment you ever received like compliment that you remember and you now <sighs> and then <laughs> got la, of course la. <laughs> of course we have right <laughs> have la. but haven't received the uh, best, best yet la. um <laughs> How to say ah? <laughs> uh, to to me, compliment is something okay. Yeah, I know I achieved that. I should <laughs> actually, because mm. I want to make you happy. So when you receive your compliment, you think that okay lah, you already re- achieved that. You know that you achieved that. Yeah, it's yeah. Just that you yeah. will want to push forward. Yeah, more correct. Like that. Correct, correct. Mm. Because when I receive this compliment, especially from my customers, they say um, you. I never. I never have a mechanic done such thing. They said. Ooh. I said, what such thing is that? Said, <laughs> what kind of such thing? You take care of my car very well. You don't have a scratches, things like that. Of course, you do the car slow. Yeah, of course, it's slow. Yeah. Because I have to take care of the quality car. Man, yeah. Yeah. Quality, quality man. Quality there. Yeah. A bit slow there. Uh, I don't mind paying you more. Whoa. They said, some customer, they pay me a tips. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, they okay. pay me tips. You keep the change. Hui. Wow. <laughs> so I think that is the best compliment. <laughs> <laughs> action. Yeah. Like action. Yeah. They say keep the change. Oh. How, how often you can get this kind of compliment? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Instead, fully trusted. Uh, instead you, of right? saying, oh, I like your service. Um, I love your service. Um, your quality work is good. It's not that. Uh, it's uh, keep the change. Uh. Keep <laughs> so the change. It's, it's like a best compliment. Action uh. speaks louder than words. <laughs> yeah. Than words like that. Right? Yeah, yeah. Correct. Correct. Whoa. So I receive this kind of um, uh, keep the change compliment. Mm. Uh. Yeah. 
That's good. very. That's like a huge compliment there. Already. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because it's money, ma. Yeah, yeah. So everyone receive money, show will be happy a little bit, ah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, so. What kind of advice would you give to someone that wants to start this industry? Wants to start their own workshop? Don't give the advice saying that don't be like you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure you are still a role model. <laughs> okay, this time will be different. This time will be uh, you need a lot, a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> That's not different. It's still, not different? The, it's still money. Like how, yeah. about, how about for like the students that you can't, they you can you can't operate a workshop without money. How about for youngsters? We yeah. don't unless like, you borrow tools from your other friend workshop, mm. then you can able to operate. Because the tools are actually very expensive. Uh, yeah, like because once you brought that tool, it will cost you hundred and thousand. Hundred and thousand. Oh, so yeah. imagine you need to service how many cars to get back that model, that, mm. that capital. Yeah, yeah. You see? Mm, so I service engine oil, cost you 30 or 40 ringgit or 50 ringgit. Mm-hmm. That actually is to us. Uh, it's just a little bit money only. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> to cover you. up the expenses. But to customer, is A lot. It's a lot. Why you charge me just for a little bit, little bit job? <laughs> See? Yeah. But they don't understand we yeah. have a five figure of I'm operating pretty, expenses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? I'm pretty sure you heard this before. Yeah, they because it, they, they are heavy machinery equipment. So, of course, these things are very expensive. Even mm. though the, uh, I give you an example, uh, a suction of oil, uh, mm-hmm. that thing, uh, that suction, uh, uh, that one it costs you like four or five hundred ringgit a day already. They always used for servicing the engine oil. Oh, yeah. So oh, wow. imagine how many cars I need to keep for this particular thing. But if this thing went and tear already, I have to buy a new one again. Mm. Oh, I got someone here. Sorry about that. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you, so the advice you give is you need money. <laughs> is that? Yeah, yeah. Of, because I also save a lot of money mm. Uh, mm. to open a workshop. Yeah. Yeah. So, it so kinda, it's not easy task. Uh. You need also need to work for people to get experience. Ah, uh. uh, yeah, 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 yeah. In order to open a workshop, uh, I of course I experience it. So that's why I dare to open a workshop. Oh, yeah. Mm. Uh, mostly, I ask my friend do this to say, but they don't know. I'm know how to do fit <laughs> oh. uh, I just I just see only. Actually, I know. <laughs> mm. Sometimes well, I don't want to tell. Sometimes I tell them, uh, mm. but but re- they really don't know. They don't know. So I have to tell them. Mm. I tell them well, that oh oh yeah oh, okay. <laughs> so sometimes we have to, you know, we have to keep our ego down la, mm. so that you can able to learn something from yeah. other people. Life to advice. accept, you have to listen uh, to other people opinion. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I also may not doing. Um, we might don't know. Mm. So they know. Mm. They know. Then they will tell me. They will, they will try to digest. Oh, it's true enough. Mm. Something like I'm actually very curious. Why won't you like tell people that you know how to fix car, you're a racer? Ah. Why do you keep it all a secret? Because I met you the second time, only I realized you're ah. a racer. <laughs> <laughs> you have to wait for our second meetup, only you will tell I, me I, you're a racer. I cannot. Talk like flower. <laughs> I'm not. Fl- I'm not a flower. You know? <laughs> so you can see me like a flower. I can talk like a flower or mm. um, I cannot. I won't show off lah. I will say uh, It's like yeah. every time I meet him, is there's a different surprise. <laughs> when I first time yeah. go to the shop, okay, he's the owner of the shop. Okay, okay, yeah. fine. The second time, he's the racer. I'm like, okay. Yeah. Then things are starting to get more interesting. Yeah. And then at that time, the partner is also a racer. Then I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a lot of secrets going on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's a very long journey here and there. Like. <laughs> so I guess that's good. That means you're humble. Huh? You, know, you're, you, you, you consider humble. Uh, la. I guess I can say so lah. <laughs> try, try to be hum- humble, okay lah. Not a, not a problem lah. But sometimes you too humble. People say you are secret. Mm. Like, like he, he say ah. Uh, oh. Because it's something uh. that you should be proud of. Uh. It's not everyone can do what you're doing right now. You know. I won't. Mm. I won't. This. I won't tell. I'm proud of. <laughs> uh. Huh? Uh, I don't have this kind of uh, habit yeah, to tell. <laughs> uh, uh, you just don't like because sometimes uh, people say you are showing or uh, you know how yeah, yeah, yeah. But mm. sometimes I just 
tell them I'm uh, Adisa. Yeah. Mm, <laughs> just go ahead. Uh, but if you want to listen, you listen. Uh, the one listen is up to your yeah. decision. Mm, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. True, yeah. I understand. Well, anything you would like to add on? Anything you add on? Add on? Anything? Any question for us? <laughs> <laughs> if you guys have any question, you guys can leave in the comments as yeah, well. Down in the comments. Yeah, we will yeah. ask him for you. <laughs> but then, so thank you so much for joining today's conversation. I think I have a very wonderful time here. Yes, yes. I, le- I, I learned a lot from you. Oh, uh, by talking? Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> I know that I mean money. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure I have to start saving up a lot of money in the future. Eh? <laughs> so thank you a lot for coming to our podcast today. I hope that in the future we have a Another chance for you to come over as well, mm-hmm. if right. you don't mind. Okay. So, thanks for listening until the end, and I hope you enjoy as much as we do. So, for those that haven't subscribed, please subscribe to our page for more fun filled co- contents, and yes. also give us a like, and as well as comment your questions, your opinions below as well. Yes. For those of you who wish to contact Mr. Aaron here, all his details are in the description below. So, is there any specific time that the audience cannot look for you or any time? Uh, can, uh, not at night time. <laughs> <laughs> As usual, well, there's no night time calls uh, and keep it clean. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.